now let's look at some kind of the difficulties or obstacles you face if you have to take an implicit solution and extract an explicit solution, specific solution from it. So in the previous video we looked at dy dt equals t over y and we found there's an implicit solution y squared minus t squared equals c. What kind of figure is that? That is uh, hyperbola. And depending on whether c is positive or negative, that hyperbola could open left, right, or up and down. And that's going to be influenced by our initial conditions. So let's take an explicit solution for that problem with y of 1 equals 3 first, and then y of minus 3 equals 1. If y is 3 when t is 1, and I can insert those values, let's say 3 squared minus 1 squared is c, c must be 8, positive y squared minus t squared is 8, I could solve that for y plus or minus square root of t squared plus 8. Now here the plus or minus means two branches of the hyperbola, one above the t-axis and one below the t-axis. My data is given at the point 1 comma 3. That means I want the branch above the y, a t-axis. And I can use the whole branch because that's a function. So I can extract two different functions from this hyperbola when it's oriented like this. And I want the upper function y equals the square root of t squared plus 8 and that is good for all real numbers t could be any number under the sun the picture shows that and square of any number plus 8 is going to be fine inside of square root the formula confirms that but the situation is different if I slightly change those initial conditions let, let y be 1 when t is minus 3 then I insert and I have 1 minus 9 is c c is negative 8 positive y squared minus t squared is negative 8. That means y is plus or minus t squared minus 8. It just looks slightly different, but a serious difference in the picture. Now the hyperbola is oriented left to right. And there are four functions I can extract from this hyperbola. Upper right branch, lower right branch, upper left branch, lower left branch. I cannot take a whole side like the right-hand side of the hyperbola, because that's not itself a function. The plus refers to these left and right branches above the t-axis, and the minus refers to the left and right branches below the t-axis. Well, where's my initial condition? My initial condition is at minus 3 and 1. So I am standing on the upper left branch, and that's the only part of this hyperbola that I can take to be my function. It's not hard to express that. y equals the square root of t squared minus 8, the positive square root. But I have to point out that t can only be from that intercept on the t-axis on down. In other words, the domain of this is t less than or equal to minus 2 root 2. I should allow it to be less than or equal to. I forgot the equal sign.